Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today I'm back in Grand Theft Auto Online with my friends NPC and Twingo for another Top Gear challenge. Today's challenge is to buy the best car for a million dollars in Grand Theft Auto Online. A million dollars includes the price of the car and any upgrades that we may apply to it. With the cars, we are going to compete in a series of five different challenges, one being a drag race, another being a circuit race, then we're going to figure out which of the three cars is the best looking. We're then going to do a sprint race to a random location on the map, and then finally figure out which of the cars is the best value for the money. Three points will be assigned for a win in the challenge, two points will be assigned for second place, and one point will be assigned for coming last in the challenges. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I know, I know what I'm picking for this challenge already. You guys aren't ready. You're this not ready. This is a crazy sleeper pick. You're not ready. This, this is the car that we're going for today, fellas. Where did it go? I already lost my vehicle. <laughs> this thing, this thing's insane. Oh, I'm not, go. I'm not wasting any time. I got it already. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go to the auto shop right now. Boom. Good luck, Me guys. Too. Buying. Yes. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Uh, oh! <laughs> All right, fellas, here we are in the auto shop. I have, of course, picked the Zentorno today. Uh, for 725 grand, I don't think that there's a better car that we can get for the million dollar car challenge. And uh, of course, we gotta go ahead and upgrade this thing and, you know, basically completely max it out, do as much as we possibly can to this car, make it look, you know, incredible and everything like that. Obviously, we're starting off with the performance upgrades, starting with the turbo, $47,500. So we're gonna minus that from our 275K that we have left over. So we only have 227,500 now. We're gonna minus another 38,000 right off the bat here for the transmission. So let's get that out of the way. Then of course, we're gonna go to the engine and minus an additional $31,825, leaving us with $157,675 for the rest of our upgrades. Now this thing does have some livery options, um, which are pretty cool, so I'm gonna just quickly go through these. I do really like the Italian stripes livery. That might be what we go for, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but let's, let's just take a quick look through here. There are some pretty good liveries for this car now. Um, really glad that Rockstar added liveries to this car and some more customization. Um, I don't know if I want to pick this yet because it's 19,000. I feel like there's stuff that we need to do first, which we got to do. So let's go ahead and look at the spoiler options here because the spoiler is actually kind of an essential option for this car. Uh, so we'll, we'll take a quick look here. I do like the elongated race wing on this. Um, I do think that that looks pretty cool. The racing spoiler is also very neat. Um, however, I feel like I feel like I want to go for the the street spoiler on this vehicle. I went for the same spoiler on the Vaca, uh, but I feel like it's it's the least like invasive one. It's pretty low key. Like I think it looks pretty good. Of course, there are the cruise spoilers as well. I don't know. These ones just these ones just hit a little different. I think I'm gonna go for the carbon uh, street spoiler, which is another fifteen thousand. So let's minus another fifteen thousand six hundred and seventy five dollars so we have a hundred and forty two grand left after putting that on the car this car doesn't have suspension i always forget about that which is very interesting so for the windows let's minus another 4750 for those and let's tint those all the way out of course we're going to need that now the respray for the car is completely free um, so and what i mean by completely free is like we don't count the respray as part of the cost for the vehicle so this is a free a free choice now as far as the color goes for this thing i feel like going for like a garnet red or something like that like a nice red would be very good um candy red looks looks pretty great on this thing i wouldn't mind doing it in a brighter color as well i uh, could even go like for like an ultra blue maybe something like that maybe even racing blue it does look really good in a bright color like this could also look pretty good in like a mariner blue i feel like mariner blue is a little underrated let's Let's actually go for mariner blue for the primary and then for the secondary let's let's think about this do we want to go for an ice white i think i've already done this customization on the car actually so maybe we don't do that maybe we go for something a little bit different could go for a lime green that's kind of sick actually i kind of like the lime green hmm it would match up nicely with that uh that stripes livery that i was thinking of so could go for that um could go for like a nice yellow as well 
like a race yellow, even just regular yellow. Let's go, let's go race yellow. Let's go race yellow. And then for the secondary color, I think we'll just keep it black maybe. I think the black looks pretty good. Maybe we'll go carbon black instead though, just to match it up with the carbon a little bit better. I do, I do like the look of that. We have $137,250 left to spend. So um, I think I might upgrade the brakes for an additional $33,000. $250. I think we might as well do that. We got 104,000 left to spend. Front bumpers, let's see what we can do here. Um, not bad looking, honestly. Um, I feel like I feel like I just want to go for the custom splitter. Let's do that for uh, another 4370. So let's minus that. We got under $100,000 left to spend for the rear bumper. We can do a painted rear trim. I do like the look of that. Let's do that as well. 4370 yet again. We have 95,000 left to spend. Uh, for the chassis, we can do these in a different color or leave them carbon. I do kind of like the carbon, I feel like. So let's let's just leave them carbon. I do, I do think that looks pretty good. For the exhaust, we do have a few different options here. I do really like the quad exit. Uh, however, I also like the twin bore. I feel like the twin, I don't know. I feel like the exhaust actually looks pretty good. Let's go for the twin bore though. Let's $713. We might as well do that. Let's, let's throw that on the car. Might as well. For the grill, we could do a painted uh, grill trim. Um, that's not bad, actually. I kind of like the look of that. Let's let's do that. Another another seven hundred and thirteen dollars. So let's spend that. Um, for the hood, we can go for a couple different options here. I do kind of like the look of uh, the Pagasi hood on this. Let's do that. Another nine thousand one hundred and twenty dollars gone. Let's put that on the car. That looks so sick. Uh, for the lights, we could go xenon. Um, or maybe I should put a neon kit on to lower the center of gravity. I think we should do that, actually. Uh, minus th $28,500. Let's do that. We got 56 grand left to spend. So that's that's good. Headlights could go xenon. I think, I think we might as well. Minus 7,125. Let's do it. We got $49,000 left. Uh, livery could go for those Italian stripes. Although they don't look that amazing on the car. I don't know. Like Maybe we don't go for them. I feel like a livery is kind of a waste on this car. Maybe we don't go for that. We will go yellow and black for the plate. That is a free upgrade, of course. The roof, we can add a roof scoop. That's not a bad look, actually. So let's do that. Another uh, $665 minus. So we'll do that. Skirts, we can also do this. I think I think the street skirts um, in carbon is a really good look. Another $9,975. We got 38,000 left to spend. I think we gotta do something with the wheels here. I do like these wheels, uh, but I feel like we could do do a little bit better. Um, what if we go for the what if we go for the carbon solars? They're not bad. Let's do that. Let's let's minus twenty thousand nine ninety five. Let's do that. We got seventeen thousand left, so we'll do that. Unless we want to put an armor upgrade on, we could do forty percent armor for eleven thousand four hundred. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Honestly, it might it might help the car. Let's let's do it. Eleven thousand four hundred dollars. Let's do that. We got $3,821 left. Not a uh, not a bad not a bad price to pay. Let's uh, let's bring this thing outside. Let's head over to the airport. All right, here we are. Moment of truth. Who's here? Oh, it's Twingo. Twingo is here. Ah, in the Entity XF. What a pick. What a pick. That is a that is a solid a solid choice. I like that a lot. Armon. Twingo. I got something to ask you right off the bat. Yes. Are those lime green wheels? They are. And I ask why? To match up with the lime green paint. Lime green paint. This is yellow. You're right. That is yellow. Yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> I called it. I knew it was a colorblind moment. It was. It was. Thanks for calling that out now. <laughs> instead of You're later. You're welcome. Instead of later. That, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that was a colorblind moment. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, good. Nice choice. The Entity. The Entity mm -hmm. XF. What an OG. I might have called. Absolutely. I might have called this thing the MT when I pulled up. Oh, I might that's have, offensive. I, I might have done that. It's, this it's, thing's much better. It's definitely the XF. It is yeah. definitely the Entity XF. Is this a diamond blue? Or is it a white? It's a frost white. I was gonna say a frost white. Interesting. Yes. What a good looking car. Yeah. I wish. I think this is like a really similar customization I did when I was playing story mode on the 360. Really? Yeah. I don't. Th I think it was different wheels, but it was red. 
It wasn't a neon at the time, but right. pretty close to this. Nice. That's that's a good looking vehicle. Mm-hmm. Good looking vehicle you got yourself there. All right, boys. I'm about to pull up here. Oh. All right. All right. Which side? Which side? Yeah. I could guess. I'm guessing. Can't hear it. I'm guessing left. Oh, you're oh, incorrect. Oh, whoa. Ooh. Ooh, the Tropos Rally. The Tropos that looks Rally. So cool. Interesting. You Interesting. guys are not ready for this. Mans went for the, the Lancia build today. I like it. Mm. Yes, I like sir. It. I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous car. And I uh, I think it's going to be a sleeper. I think you guys aren't ready for this. Interesting <laughs> choice. I, I'm I'm excited to see this. I know it's pretty light. I think it would be a good racer. In the in the, in so the off, small. In the off-road <laughs> section, it's going to do it's gonna do well, I think. Oh, it's yeah. very small, it's yeah. Got, it's got a lot of grip to that car. Like, mm-hmm. it's 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 insane. Like, it's hard to get that thing to spin out, so. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Interesting. Well, you guys, you got two OG supercars here. Yes, 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 oh, yeah. yes. Big Zentorno, big Entity big XF. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Well, okay. I, I'm excited. Nice. I, I'm I'm itching. I'm itching to race. Let's do it. Drag race time. I'm itching to race. Let's see. I I remember I remember the day that the High Life DLC dropped, and it was rumored that the Zentorno was going to be a car. We didn't know what it was called yet. I don't think, but. Uh, I was hyped because I knew that there was a car that looked like the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, which was my my uh, literal uh, poster car. Um, I had I had a, a heinous edit of a green Sesto Elemento on my wall for years in my room, and uh, then <laughs> they were gonna release this car into GTA, and I was like, man. So I, was, I I bought a shark card, and I got up extra early before school just to play it when it initially came out, and I remember thinking, wow, this car accelerates even harder than the Coil Voltic because <laughs> at the time yeah. that car was crazy. So very That's a name I have not heard in so long. Very very exciting car. Very interesting car. Are. Yes. I'm 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 interested to see what's gonna happen here in the drag race. Me too. I've got a I've got the nade ready. Excellent. All right. I'm yeah. I'm ready to go. Here we go. Let's get this thing going. Three, two, one. Nate thrown. <sighs> I'm revved up right now. I'm revved up. Oh, big Ooh. launch! Wow, the entity's launch Ooh. is crazy. The entity's oh, launch man. is crazy. Oh. Man. oh no way! Oh, it's so close. This slight pull. The Dang. slight pull. No way. Man, that's insane. And the tropo is slightly lagging <laughs> behind, but uh, that's, that's, okay. A wee bit. that's okay. You know what? The tropo's tried really hard. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It did all that it could. It did all it's that okay. it could. It's yeah. It's okay. We we we're, we're probably about to learn something on the on the next uh, on the next leg of the challenge. So yes, we are. Uh, that's three points for me, two for Twingo, and one for NPC. Woohoo! Amazing. Well, let's uh, let's let's head up to the uh, head up to the circuit race, gentlemen. All right, so now we're at the location for our circuit race. It starts right here, just outside the Welcome to Sandy Shore sign. This is a finish line for this race. The race route goes around the main road all the way around the Alamo Sea. We go up here, drive past Grapeseed, and then come back down, and then it's the first one to pass the Welcome to Sandy Shore sign right here. Whoever does that first is deemed the winner of the circuit race. So anyways, let's go ahead and line up. All right, throwing it. I'll go buggy. Uh-oh. All right, we're good. We're let's, good, we're good. Let's go, go. let's go, 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 go. Let's go. All right, big, no. big okay. race. Oh man. Slipstreaming oh, me. Oh my God. Yep, that's the plan. Right, Tropo, oh. the tro- Tropos isn't keeping up too bad, actually. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm it's, not it's, as bad it's as I doing thought. it's doing better uh, better than I expected, honestly. Oh my god! Oh, you're what? lagging. Yeah. Whoa. Something just really lagged there. That was insane. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I gotta I gotta focus up for the off road section here. Terrain's getting a bit oh my treacherous. Goodness. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, oh there no! You go. <laughs> no way! No way! I forgot I didn't have the brakes. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> that's actually brutal. That's that's tough. That is super oh, tough. Here we go. It's our time. It's hey, our time. You know what? At least you didn't uh, at least you didn't go into I don't know, like the water or something like that. Like that would have that would like really suck. Yeah. I'm a little better than that. Business battle. Business, I can't business see. battle. Yeah, awesome timing. Awesome timing. Okay. Fine right. you better watch your tail, buddy. You better watch yours, buddy. 
Oh wait, I'm ahead of you. <laughs> we'll oh, see how long dude, that I can't turn that as easily, dude. This is oh, so no. bad. Oh, I'm like fully stuck on these rocks. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, dude, I crashed. Oh no. Oh, this thing sucks. What? <laughs> oh man. What are you, who are you trying to trick? I can see you. <laughs> you can't. You're lying. You're lying, NPC. <laughs> you can't see me. Mess up? No! Oh, no. I'm getting sabotaged. Did NPC mess up? Oh, no. I didn't oh. mess up. I got a... Oh. I got ran over. Oh, man. By that bravado grassley back there? The Porsche. Whatever the Porsche is. Porsche? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a Porsche. What? Borsch. There's no Porsches driving on that road, I don't think, buddy. I think you're meaning the Dodge Durango. I I don't know what it was. Damn. Very round. Damn uh, oh, maybe it's the Fathom FQ2. That sounds familiar. That's it. That's it. It's based off the Infinity FX35, I believe it is. And you should uh, go into a pole on them. No, I, I. I heard those make your car a lot faster. I. You know what? I, I actually disagree. I actually disagree. Uh, but with that being said, I have just crossed the line. Let's go. Uh, Let's go. I had to bounce uh, I had to bounce back after what happened to me last time. Dang, that was uh, I think even if uh even if that car didn't run me over, I still would have lost. Well, that real spill, I guess. I mean honestly. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Here comes the entity. Here we go. Amazing. Blistering speed across the line. Across oh, the line. Dude, I didn't put any armor on and now my wheels are like digging into oh, the Oh yeah. I, 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 I was going to have like 40 grand left over and then I was like, man, I think I should do an armor upgrade just in case. Yeah. Me yeah. Too. So. I did one ar light armor. No, I think I did a. 20%? I did level two brakes, the sports brakes, and yeah. then I did um, level one armor. Nice. Yeah. Just to be safe. Armor, armor helps. I got 40% armor on this thing. Yeah. It's, uh, it's very helpful for sure. Well, gentlemen, let's go repair the vehicles and let's, uh, <laughs> wow. oh my God. let's, uh, let's discuss which of the three is the best looking. Yes, sir. Amazing. Let's discuss gentlemen. All right. All right. Well, we're here. Uh, of the three cars, the best looking is the Lancia Stratos. It's good looking. It's good. Sure. It's good looking. It um, is good looking. I, I, like the, I like the dimensions of it. I, I do like the dimensions of it. I think it is a good looking car. It's a little, lo a little lot of meat on that, uh, on the, on that rear tire. It, those are oh, maybe, yeah. the, maybe the widest stock tires in all of GTA. I think it looks sick. Yeah, I no, love this they're, width. They're, I wish yeah, we had an option for this because it's like tuner. I think is is not as wide as this, and off road is just like ugly and bulky. I wish we had something like this, like rally tires having yeah. its own category. I wish you could widen the wheels in GTA, but uh, unfortunately, that'd be really nice. Yeah, or put spacers on. That would be really cool. No, of course not. Whatever. Didn't want it anyways. The Entity is a great looking vehicle. Absolutely. It really is. The Entity, the Entity is, it's just classic, you know? And like, and like. You're an almost 10 year old car too. Yeah, it's, it's really impressive. And, and also the, the front splitter on this car, I don't know if there's something special about like the shine to it with the carbon or something, but like. It looks so good on this vehicle. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's it's the fact that it matches with the carbon headlights or what, but it looks so good. I didn't even realize there's carbon in the headlights. There's yeah. a lot of carbon all around this thing. Yeah. Same with the Zentorno. The Zentorno is full of carbon as well. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hang on, hang on. While we're still on the topic of the entity, I think you guys are blinded by nostalgia. I think if you compare this thing to Koenigsegg's, it's f ugly. And if you compare it to the new entities that have been added into the game, it's it did not age well when yes. when we first all completed the gta campaign ranging from like 2013 to 2015 this was a hot car but i think the standard has been raised so high by comparison i just don't think it's that good looking of a car anymore i don't really agree i don't think the xxr was too good looking either it was a bit closer to the real life things, but I think Rockstar had a little uh, switcheroo. I think they had, uh, yeah, through. I think they had a little more creativity back in the day. Like they kind of actually took something and like, yeah, went, where it's like two different kind of brands or something. Yeah. Not really with this specific car though. 
but they it, had some it's so rock boxy. Star. It's, it is a little bit boxy, I won't lie. It's, with it's, the XXR too, I think they're both just two boxy vehicles. Yeah, they, they're, 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 they're very boxy. I mean, I think it does still look really good. Um, how do I describe it? It looks like how what you guys are saying about the creativity another perspective of looking at that is like it looks like a gta vehicle yes, and not like does. a realistic vehicle you know yes, what i mean that is yeah. true that is true. like a like hot wheels car kind of thing i will say something that i really don't like about the entity is the are these like metal like things over the engine like i, I guess Fishnets. yeah like i guess they're to protect your hands from touching the hot what i believe are intakes on the car but it looks so. it looks like a girl wearing fishnets. Fishnets is such so a hot. It's, it's it's yeah. It's no. It's not. It's like, great. It would look very cool if you could remove that. It would be maybe put yeah. It with glass or something. Yeah, exactly. If you could do something else with it, but I do think that this this weird like I guess it's like an exit for like heat out of the engine. That is really cool looking in the in the back like with the, yeah, with the sure glass over. Is. I think I think it's just to, like heat out of the engine more than anything. But very cool. I like looking. the rear. I like yeah, the rear. The, 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 ta the tail are lights cool. are crazy. The tail lights are really crazy. I, I do think that this is generally a good looking car. Is it as good as the XXR or the MT? No. But I don't think that's to say it's bad looking. I'd say it's like it's like a it's like a seven out of ten. Okay. It's 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 good. You know, sure. it's good. It's not sure. bad. I I kind of disagree with like mostly just the front end. I think the but, front. Uh, I think the front is very like 2013. Just, yeah, that's yeah. the best way to describe it. Yeah, a little dated now. It's, it's, but... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But is it, I don't think it looks bad. I think the carbon headlights are really cool. That's a really cool touch. Overall, I, not a bad car. Not a bad looking car. In comparison with the Zentorno, the, you know, for there only being a two year difference in the age of these two cars, the Zentorno looks a lot newer. It, it could have been released like yesterday, I feel like, and it would still look very, very good. Um, Did this I... one come out when the Venino came out? Uh, no, it's supposed to be based off the Sesto, I think mostly, but there's one spoiler option, which is the same as the Venino spoiler. So everyone says it's the Venino, but it's actually the Sesto. Ah, um, okay. which pisses me off a lot when people say that but yeah um it's it's mostly based off the sesto elemento it's got a lot of design elements from that car um especially like with these these front uh different colored uh parts here these little triangles that go into the hood at the just below the windscreen mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. those are from the sesto elemento as well as the engine covers also from the sesto elemento the engine covers mm -hmm. sick it's so sick this car is it's so good looking with the, oh. with the new customization that Rockstar's also added to it, I feel like that has that has given this car new life. I agree with the customization part. I think for the look of the vehicle, I'm not gonna lie to you. Back when we first, back when I was first buying the Zentorno, it was my very first purchase in GTA Online. Remember after farming all of this yeah, trash talk? Trash talk. Yeah. I thought the Sesto Elemento looked so f cool, but recently I actually looked up another picture of what the Sesto Elemento looked like, and I. It's not as cool as I remember. I think the Zentorno is a better looking car than the Sesto Elemento. Oh, Like if you were to compare those two vehicles, I think the mm. Zentorno is better looking, mostly from the front end. I feel like it's got more of like a Venino style, aggressive looking front end, as opposed to the- That's, uh, That is, I do see what you're saying about that. I disagree. I think the Sesto Elemento is forever like a very impressive car in real life and, and a very cool looking car. It, it's extremely unique. It's just a lot softer looking. I feel like it looks like a Mercy. Yeah, I see. Front. I see what you're saying. It, it, the Sesto in real life doesn't have like all the crazy like lines that the uh, that the Zentorno has for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, Not, but I like most of the car. The part that I don't like actually is uh, something with the rear end. Yeah, it makes the car feel really slender. I don't know what it is. I don't know if you can't see enough of the back wheel or if the back wheels tucked in too much or what it is but it, it definitely looks better with stock wheel fitment uh the the wheels are a little more like out to the fender lines yes i think that um, that might be what it is but the stock wheels are, are pretty ugly so that's the problem there yeah uh, so it's tough yeah shame um, i'm quite the opposite i'm not a huge fan of the front end but i do like the back i think the back is really cool the front does have the front's got some cool customization that you can do to it now which is very neat Thank yeah you. this is looking quite different to what i remember so maybe i just need to give it a, a more of a chance myself yeah mm -hmm. but i'm not a huge fan of this front bumper that it looks like a giant gaping mouth which can look cool but to me it's not i could have gone cool. i could have gone for a bigger gape if you wanted me to a bigger gaping maybe mouth, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah yeah i i think i have my order 
I think I think Zentor no one, Entity two, and Tropos no. three. No, no, no. That is far from correct. I I think that I think that. Did you guys the... even look at my vehicle? It's 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 it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's just, we haven't even gone over it. It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's got pop-up headlights. It's a classic. It's, it's the closest to a real-life replica of the three. It doesn't look all that much like a GTA vehicle. It doesn't have that 2013 touch on it. It's got yeah, the. It's, got, it's got it the, looks like it's the got, Lancia Stratus. Yeah, it's, cool. got, it's got the 1975 touch. And this doesn't look like a million dollars. No. It's like your grandma's garage. Yeah. No. This this definitely oh is not my. a million dollar car. <laughs> the brown rims too. Not cleaned at all. Oh. Burnt exit exhaust pipes. The interior looks very cool on this car though. The interior Dude, is I pretty sick. That. Yeah. It's it's not to say it's a bad looking car. I just think it's in comparison to the Entity and the Zentorna. I just don't think it's as good looking. It's I, not deserving of first place. It's, yeah, it's not deserving of first place. Yeah, suck it, that NPC. Is, that's f <laughs> <laughs> I do think the Entity deserves first place though, because it looks the most expensive in my opinion. I disagree. I think that the Zentorna looks more expensive than the Entity. Well, you're a Lamborghini fanboy, so no, of course but, you're going to pick the Zentorna. But no, no, but the Entity, I do agree with with some of what NPC said about it being pretty like bare bones type of thing. And and that's not to say that like maybe if Rockstar did give it some additional customization, I think it could look absolutely phenomenal, but um Unfortunately for you, the Zentorna was given additional customization and the Entity wasn't, so... I think even without the additional customization, if you bought these cars both stock, the Zentorna is better looking. I, I would agree with that. I've never been a huge fan of the way Zen, the Zentorna looks. Even though the like the front, the headlights especially are kind of similar to the entities, they are. It just never really sat right with me. I always found they kind of were a bit too close to the edge, and I, did, I don't know, wasn't my favorite. So maybe it's just me. That's fair. I I I think yeah, I think Zentorno one, Entity two, Tropos three. That's, that's I can I can reluctantly accept that. That's that's my final offer. <laughs> All right, NPC, would you be a tiebreaker? And, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm number one, you're number two, and uh, zero points for NPC. Nice. Okay. All right, all right, good. <laughs> Just couldn't handle it. <laughs> couldn't handle it. Yep. So, sprint race time. Sprint race time. <laughs> Let's see who's, whose car is better. Awesome. Right. Do we want to start from here? Do we want to go to a different spot? I think I think this is a good starting spot, but we definitely should pick a different. Uh, a different should we go north? I it's you know what NPC picked last time. I think it's your turn. Well, I do. I want to make a rule. I want to say no highway. Um, just because oh. that always focuses on the higher top speed yeah, cars. Yeah, that is fair. Kind of always definitely have that an advantage. That is fair. Actually, that's super fair. Then I would say I want to say I want to say race back to where we opened. Then race back to where we opened. At the back airport? to the airport. Interesting. Race back to the airport. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Uh, NPC, are you going to participate in this challenge? I don't even want this car anymore. For the sprint race, we're going to be going all the way back to the airport where we did our intro for this episode. That means the, the same airport. parking lot, by the way. The same, same parking lot. Same small parking lot right there. And from now on we're banning the use of highways because they are just top speed focused which means whoever has the highest top speed is going to win which yeah. is which is lame no more of that all right gentlemen are we are we ready to go ready mm -hmm. all right uh, is somebody going to throw the grenade or we just count it in i'll throw one okay twingo throws Let's the go. grenade let's get ready to rock and roll here all right off Ow. off we go i know i know what i'm doing oh Apparently, I might have a similar idea. Apparently, you do too. Oh my God, these bushes. Yeah, the bushes will do. Do ya? The tropos is keeping up. Good thing the Seminoles are here on my side. I took the wrong whoa, road. Whoa, 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 pal! Oh, this is not good. NPC likes to play dirty. No, hey, you, you, no, no, no. Hit him, NPC. He did. A little rat. He spun himself out too. He must have. <laughs> I went to a pole. <laughs> yeah, I knew that you must have done something to yourself there. Nice. No. Oh. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Huge top end. No. <laughs> Huge top end. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
All right, all right. Well, got a bit of ground to make up here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh yeah. Okay. Like to see it. Like to see it. It's okay. Is it? Is it okay, Twingo? I think so. He says it's okay, guys. No, no, no. All right, all right, all right. No. 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 Yes. No. Do you have bulletproof tires, Twingo? Uh, yep. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> Super lie. No. Oh, no. Oh, oh, that was so quick. Oh, man. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. No. Yes. No. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. No NPCs ahead of me. Oh no! Can you see him? No. No. Oh. <laughs> uh. I NPC. Man, you yeah, having the having the no armor upgrades on that entity really shows. Yeah, weight reduction. Yeah. No. Definitely. Definitely some. Uh, definitely some weight reduction. A little bit. Nice. We've uh, we've made it back, gentlemen. Very good. That was my first sprint race win. Very good job. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. And with that, you've gained three points. I sure have. Where does that put me? Ah, uh, second place. Second I, place. Okay. I think because I, I think are we doing correct math this let's time? Let's see. I've got so I did. I got three for the drag race. I got three for the two. circuit. I got three for the looks challenge. And I got two mm -hmm. for this, which puts me at 11. Two, I have eight. Yeah. Two, one, two, two. No, you have seven, you liar. Three. I had three. I oh, won this right. time. Oh, right. Yeah, you won. Oh you my won. God. Yeah. No, you do have eight. Nice yeah. try. And NPC is at four. Okay. Oh, no. Decent. Wait. No, he's not. No, he's at five. <laughs> he's at five. You so need to stop. I do need to stop. You got one, two, one, one. That's correct. Five. Best value for money. We got to talk about it. All right. Uh, NPC, are you going to uh, step out of the tropos? I think he's having a sad boy moment. I think he is. NPC. Tropos brings depression when you buy it. NPC, are you going to step out of the car? Step out with your hands up. I will forcibly remove you in about four seconds. Yeah, you got out of like 3.9, so good job. Hang on. Hey, wait, wait, not wait. yet, not yet. Not hang, yet. On. hang on, wait a second. Really you know, I'll, I'll be the first to say it. It's got to be the Zentorno. It, it's got to be. Simply because it's also cheaper than the Entity. It's also faster. It's all-wheel drive. Faster. It's got more customization. It's... I think the Entity's all-wheel drive as well. I don't know. I've always thought it was rear-wheel drive, but the way it was launching was insane. It's also pretty decent uh, off-road when huh. like accelerating, so I think it is. It maybe, yeah. I wonder if it's. I wonder if it's very subtle. Like, what was the last car that we that we looked at with that? No uh, idea. We we talked about a car the other day that had like very subtle. Like it was like ninety nine percent rear-wheel drive, but like the Jester. Well, the Jester. The Jester is also all-wheel drive, so yes. it it must be very similar. I I would say. So yeah, entity is definitely the second place for 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 this challenge. Hundred hundred percent. But yeah, the Zentorno seven hundred and twenty five k. I think everybody's kind of always known that the Zentorno is like the best value for money in GTA as far as supercars goes. Yeah, it's, that hasn't it, changed it's, even it, before it, they it added the customization. Yeah, it hasn't changed, and if anything, it's only gotten better because of the added customization. Even as they added more and more supercars into the game, the Zentorno has still been like it's a still it's still a pretty fast car. It's pretty fast. I think it's within the twenties, if not the low thirties, for you know supercars around a track. So it's it's still very good for 725k like you literally can't go wrong with this vehicle it's it's so good great starter vehicle great starter vehicle i mean it was your first supercar in gta yes i mean it wasn't mine mine no. was the entity mine was it was mine i can't even remember it was probably the vodka honestly mm. I, think mm. it was. I, think, I think you're right i think it was the vodka and then the Adder is my favorite car, but I didn't get that until I was a little richer. And the Adder is not featured here because it's a million dollars. It's a million bucks. It could, not yeah, best for value. Cannot get that thing for a million dollars. It would definitely lose here. So, mm -hmm. yeah. 
Uh, I gotta say, the entity is pretty close second. It, it is a very close Not second. Not too far out from the Zentorno. And, and what, it's only, it's only what, is it 70? Maybe 80 grand I think more, it's 795. Seven, just, it's... 785, it's one of those. I think it's 785, so it's, I think it's what, 70 grand more? Yeah. Yeah. It it's, looks pretty different if you're not a huge fan of the way the Zentorno looks like I am. I definitely would pick the entity. Yeah. Or 60. It's 60 grand more, I think, because I think it's eight, seven, eighty-five. It's not too much more. That's yeah, it's, what It's either 60 or 70 grand more. So, like, you know, honestly, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. And it, it's it got a little bit of customization. Good performance overall. Zentorno, it's your winner. Best million dollar car in GTA Online. Woohoo. Very deserving. Very deserving. The Zentorno is amazing. It, it really Breed. is. It really is. For a million bucks, you can't go wrong. Well, there you have it. Zentorno is the best supercar or best car in GTA for a million bucks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. If not, dislike, of course. Go subscribe to NPC and Twingo. Subscribe to me if you guys are new. Comment down below for some challenges you guys would like to see in the future as far as cars or prices, and we will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.